Joe Pepper, Pepper's Boat Spa. Uh, wanted to go over a couple of things with this 1996 Champion 181 DC. Um, this is for somebody who may be out in the market looking at used boats. And with the market doing what it's doing and boats being way overpriced, um, these I'm going to show you a couple of really good tips on what you should look for. First one being, and I'm going to flip the camera angle around here. Okay. The old saying, if it's... If it, if, if it seems too good to be true, it probably is, applies to boats in a, good, in a big way. I'm going to show you a couple of things on this. It's got a brand new jack stand. Trailer looks really good. Boat finish looks really good. Brand new trolling motor. That's a sign. And the reason I'm pointing out how good it looks is because this is a 1996 it's a 25 year old boat 25 year old boats don't typically look like they just came out of the showroom so why would somebody want their boat to look really 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 good especially in a market where used boats are are sometimes four and five times what they were oh just a year and a half ago well might be because it's got a bad transom and this boat certainly has a bad transom now, if this person selling this boat, and I'm just going to let you know now that I did not get taken on this boat. I bought the boat knowing it had a bad transom. So, if I had just walked up on this boat, and I didn't know a whole lot about boats, and I asked the guy, you know, why you have silicone? And the guy would say, well, you know, after so many years, uh, you want to loosen the bolts, Put new silicone just to seal it make sure that you're good now on this boat it did not flex it flexed a little bit that you could tell in the sun but my my telltale on this one was this guy siliconed everything and i mean everything so i asked him i said why is there so much silicone and the guy says well i like to make sure that there's no leaks in anything well when you look up in here obviously you have a bad transom but what we had when we looked at this boat is there's a cover that goes over this just like this and he had silicone coming down and around and around the cover well with the silicone like that you never would have known that there was rot plus he had silicone underneath that he had done a really good job of smoothing out and it was almost unnoticeable except for the fact again like i said he siliconed everything the screws the inside of it even the splash well has been silicone so that's just some of the things you can think of or that you can look at when you're looking at these older boats there's only two phillips head screws in this cover take the screws out it's not gonna hurt anything all it is is a decorative cover it just sits on there like that. Take you a little drill with you when you go with a Phillips head um, head in it. Take the screws out, pop that cover off, and underneath that cover, it will tell you really quick if you got a bad transom. Now, it may not. If the rot is down in the bottom, like where all these screw holes are, let's say that the water didn't migrate up. It migrated across. Well, what you're gonna look for then is you're going to do the old stand on the motor trick and literally that's what i mean stand on the foot of the motor and bounce and see if it flexes or bounces or even falls off down here another thing you can do is well the tilt switch is on the other side of this one but what you can do is just hit the tilt switch a couple times bounce that motor go boom 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 get a good little boom 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 in it and watch the transom down here at the bottom because that's primarily where it's going to flex you can watch it there or you can watch it inside the splash well now here's the other tip that i'm going to show you real quick inside the splash well typically if you have a bad transom you're going to get a stress crack all the way down the inside and here we have one right here that is a stress crack inside the transom that goes the entire length of the splash well. 
it goes all the way down to the other end. That's going to be your other your other sign that this has a bad transom and that it's flexing. So, oh, one more thing I'm going to show you. This is the proper way to empty out your, your fuel tanks. If you're going to do work on your motor, if you're going to work on your fuel tanks, if you're going to remove batteries, um, not really remove batteries, but if you're going to be doing work that entails messing around with your motor or electrical, first thing you do is you disconnect your batteries. For the love of Peter, Paul, and Mary, disconnect your batteries. I take tape or zip ties or both like I've done here. Yep, zip ties and tape. And I make darn sure that the wires stay away from each other. Especially when messing with fuel. Once I know that I have the batteries out, then what I'm going to do is go ahead and disconnect your fuel line. Disconnect your fuel line. Run it down to a tank. Make sure it's below the level of your fuel tank in the, in the boat. And let gravity do its work. When it's done... Just simply pull it out in case there's any residual fuel and lay it just like that and you won't drain any more fuel. So, appreciate you spending this uh, six minutes and something seconds with me. I hope uh, I save somebody from a bad investment. That's the point of all of this is to save somebody from spending a lot of money on a boat that's got problems. Anyway, y'all have a blessed day. I'm glad I could share my knowledge with you. Talk to you later. Joe Pepper, Pepper's Boats. Bye.